It's Wednesday, the 22nd of July, and we're going to start what in parliamentary terms is going to be a very long day. Uh, there's going to be lots of urgency uh, running through till uh, at least Friday evening. Uh, we'll start off in the normal way, though, with uh, questions to ministers. Uh, the Leader of the Opposition to the Prime Minister about infrastructure funding, uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance uh, about the COVID-19 spending uh, and whether it's fully justified, uh, Tamadi Coffey to the Minister of Finance about the economy, and Shane Retty uh, to the uh, Minister of Health about the COVID Tracer app, Andrew Bailey uh, to the Minister of Small Business uh, about the ANZ report on small business, Priyanka Radhakrishnan to the Minister of Social Development uh, about employment initiatives in partnership with local government, uh, Jackie Dean to the Minister of Conservation about the tar cull, uh, Marama Davidson to the Associate Minister of Health about uh, primary maternity services, uh, Simeon Brown to the Minister of Corrections about uh, community sentences, uh, Kira Tapu Allen to the Minister of Biosecurity uh, around the eradication of Mycoplasma bovis, uh, David Seymour to the Prime Minister about whether she has confidence in all her ministers, and Brett Hudson to the Minister of Police um, about uh, incidents involving firearms and gang uh, members. We'll then go on to um, a, a motion without debate which will defer um, a by-election in Rangitata which would have to uh, be held without the motion. The general debate, 12 five-minute um, uh, calls, anything people want to talk about. And then on to the New Zealand Maori and Arts and Craft Institute Vesting Bill committee stages and third reading. Uh, at about 5.30, that will be interrupted for uh, the valedictory statements of Clayton Mitchell and the uh, Honourable uh, Maggie Barry. These are 15-minute speeches uh, for most members, uh, which they get to uh, have as they leave Parliament uh, and uh, where they can basically say anything that they want to uh, about their career or things that they think uh, are important to them. Uh, the government will then take a big package of urgency and what I'll do is run through what I think we're likely to be talking about over the next 24 hours or so and then come back tomorrow uh, and, and indicate what the rest of it is for Thursday and Friday. So there's the committee stages and third reading of the Education and Training Bill in the name of uh, Chris Hipkins, uh, the committee stages and third reading of the International Crimes and International Criminal Court Amendment Bill uh, in the name of the Right Honourable Winston Peters, the committee stages and third reading of the Public Service Legislation Bill uh, in the name of Chris Hipkins, uh, the third uh, committee stage in the third reading of the Urban Development Bill in the name of Phil Twyford. Uh, the committee stage is in the third reading of the Forest uh, Regulation of Log Traders and Forestry Advisors Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable Shane Jones. Uh, and the third reading of the uh, Rates Rebate Statutory Declarations Bill in the name of Nanaya Mahuta. Uh, I, think, I think that'll uh, keep us going. Uh, through uh, this evening uh, and tomorrow morning. Uh, so I'll be back here again uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will have question time uh, and, uh, and then get back into the urgency.